Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. For those that are new here, my name is Jessica. I'm the owner and creator of the blog ThriftyMamaHarding.com. I love to create YouTube videos on old-fashioned homemaking and simple living and share simple ways that we live frugally around our home. I love to do DIY projects on a budget, create recipes, and most importantly, I love to share how we do it. Here in today's video, I am sharing a simple homemaking video, taking you around with me as I do some cleaning around the house. When life gets busy, it is so easy to get behind on the everyday household tasks that need to be done. It can become so draining doing daily repetitive tasks every day or every week. One of the hardest parts about homemaking is staying consistent and on top of these things so that they don't pile up on you day after day. I can relate to this all too well of feeling unmotivated most days to get these daily tasks done that need to be done. One of the biggest things that helps me get through these things is the reward at the end of the day when my husband and my kid come home from a long day at work or from school and I have created a resting place for them to come home to. Whether that means just making sure the house is clean or the laundry is done or even a home cooked meal is ready to eat. The most important thing is that you continue to strive to do what you can. Have a routine that works for you and your own family. Try to figure out who I am Not sure what I'm doing here And the days don't work out the way I thought they would And before you there was no one who understood Never found somewhere I fit in You, I was feeling lost But you're the one who can make it go away All you have to do is look at me Sometimes I, I can't breathe But it feels like you're the one who saves me But it's all I have You know we could run to a place where we belong But I need you there with me to go on Sometimes I
of the homemaking tasks there is to do, pick one and make it a top priority in your own home. For example, mine would be food. I spend a lot of time planning our grocery list, using coupons, shopping our own kitchen to make sure that I don't get something that we don't need. And most importantly, I try to make sure we have meals here at our home. I have recently decided to go from working my full-time job to a part-time job in order for me to stay home more and manage the household. After sitting down with a pen and paper and adding up our total finances, one of the biggest faults that my husband and I had while we both worked full-time was that we had a bad habit of going out to eat. Coming home from work after a long day, neither one of us felt like cooking and it was just too convenient to go get food. However, after adding up the price of how much we were actually spending going out to eat, we decided to make the adjustment that if we continued to be frugal with grocery shopping and eating more at home, I could totally afford to work part-time and even save money on top of that. So this was the adjustment that we had to make in order for me to stay home more. One thing is for certain, we could not afford for me to go part-time and continue to go out to eat like we were. So with that being said, making sure that we have food to eat in our kitchen at our home has been my number one top priority as a homemaker. What if the world had more of your smile? What if the wind could spread your love? What if your sweetness could reach everyone? There'd be no wars. One fun fact you may not know about me yet is that laundry is my least favorite thing to do around the house. I have tried many different laundry routines that I was not able to stick to or be consistent with until recently. It takes a lot of trial and error to figure out the best laundry routines that will work for you and your family. For me, there was one thing that I changed that a lot of people may not agree with and it might stir the pot a little bit. <laughs> But I stopped folding all of our clothes. Yes, that's right. I stopped folding our clothes. As far as our shirts, dresses, t-shirts, anything that's a shirt gets hung in the closet. All of our pants, jeans, and shorts go into our dresser drawers. I don't know if it's more of a mind thing, but there is something about putting a shirt on a hanger and putting it in the closet that just makes laundry seem a lot more simple to manage than sitting down and folding each and every piece of clothing. Another laundry tip that I have is to go through all of your clothes on a regular basis and get rid of things that you don't wear anymore. The less clothes you have in your closet, the less laundry that you have to manage. Keep it simple. As far as washing clothes, I do enjoy putting heavier items out on the clothesline to dry and that keeps us from using our dryer as much also. I love the fresh smell of lime dried clothing and blankets. And when it comes to doing homemaking tasks on a regular basis, the laundry for me is one of those things I just want to get done and move on. I 
was at the wrong place at the right time Cause suddenly there you were with those bright blue eyes We were conversing into the night sky When you took my hand said let's leave now Don't wanna be shy about everything that was on our minds Talking to you gave me butterflies Then you took my hand said let's leave now Don't wanna be shy Thank you all so much for joining me in today's video. If you like this video, please be sure to like and subscribe. Subscribing helps support my channel and helps me to continue to keep creating these videos for you guys. So I appreciate each and every one of you who has subscribed. You guys are running this channel. <laughs> so I thank you so much. Stay tuned for our next video. I'm going to be sharing a gardening and outdoor YouTube video. So be sure to follow along and be on the lookout for that one. It's going to be super fun. Thank you so much for being here with me today and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye y'all.